Say that again. That sounds so good. Say it again. My great grand, grandfather was the first uh, African American, was it? We were called in those days, first Negro to own a uh, movie theater. And uh, the name of it? Uh, the Dumbot Theater. What does it say at the bottom? Read this out loud. I love the phrase. It says, the most beautiful house for colored folks south of New York. Okay, <laughs> that's the Dunbar Theater. This is from 1936, 37, right. first colored directory of Baltimore City. Right. That's right. your grandfather. Right. Right. No. So let, let's move back to the west side. Uh, Baltimore has Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah, Baltimore sure. has the Royal Theater, the Sphinx Club, Gambies, right. Club Casino, right. uh, a whole bunch of other places. How do you play a role in, or your father or somebody play a role in that whole movement? Well, my dad and his brothers, my Uncle James and my Uncle Yule, they were all nightlife people. I mean, there's no other way to get around it or describe it. They nightlife, say that again. Nightlife, nightlife people. people. Night, yeah. Nightlife, hold this up, hold which, this up. Which led to his hold, hold, hold this up, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my, my, my Uncle Yule was a tap dancer. Uh, and that's where I got my uh, love for tap dancing, uh, or as they like to call themselves back in the day, he was a hoofer. He was a hoofer. Was this at the house on Druid Hill Avenue? 2040 Druid Hill. Right, right. A stone's throw of Pennsylvania Avenue? Right, right. Uh, tell, tell me some more. What, what about the nightlifer? I mean, you talked about the, the, the well, family. A lot, a lot of people don't realize it. It's just a tabloid, uh, as you can see. Yeah. Advertising all the local clubs, bars, black barbershops, beauty salons. And you ask, he asked Pop if he thought it would fly in Baltimore. Mm. And actually, my father came down and started doing it uh, in 1960, I believe. 1960? Yeah. But he lived, I'd be uh, remiss if I didn't say, my dad lived to write the editorial. He was, a, he was a writer. And there's no other way I can say it, and I've been saying it for years. He did the editorial because he wanted to stay in black folks' case about what we need to do to improve our lot. So he lived to do the editorial everywhere. It's been passed on, but in a different way. In a different way, and actually, um, what, civil rights movement started in the 60s. My mother and father got arrested and locked up in the 40s for protesting police brutality. Mm. In, the in the 1940s. In the 40s, before we moved to Philadelphia. So he was, uh, Definitely an activist and uh, ahead of his time. Ahead of his time, as as are you. 